had a couple of cool nights, like at least cooler than normal. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Comfortable. You know, some folks may be sleeping with the windows open. Uh, this morning we started out with temperatures in the 50s in Marion County. The rest of us were in the lower 60s for the most part. And tonight, just one or two degrees warmer. It's just gradually going to be adding some moisture back to the air after that uh, late season cool front swept in last week. 83 right now in Orlando. Humidity levels not too bad at 46 percent. So it actually feels like 83 degrees. I don't have a big heat index to tell you about right now. Not bad. 79 right now in Palm Coast. I have 80 at Cocoa Beach. 83, as I mentioned, in Orlando. And we're sitting at 81 in Leesburg. Temperatures running a little bit cooler than normal. And we have this backdoor cool front coming down the waters today. And we just call it that because it just, it's not coming in from the northwest. It's coming in kind of from the northeast to the southwest. So we'll just draw that, that wind flow there right on into the coastline. So you can't rule out that you get one shower to brush up against Flagler County. Looks like the best chance to see a shower, about 10%, would be up into Marion and Sumter because as that west coast breeze comes in and interacts with that little sea breeze and backdoor front, you might squeeze out something about 6, 7, 8 o'clock tonight in that location. Otherwise, we're dry. We're at 87 in Orlando today, 82 to 83, Daytona Beach to Melbourne. We talked at the top of the show about this high risk for rip current. So really not a good day to be swimming. The uh, breeze coming in out of the east-northeast creating a bit of a chop for boaters. But really the big story is staying out of the water unless we're right near the lifeguard towers. Try to only get in, get in there uh, up to your knees because those rips are very strong. We had 80 rescues yesterday. There are the surf temperatures. Not too bad in the lower 70s. So hour by hour, just going to mention that 6 to 8 o'clock shower, mainly northwest of Orlando, and just a few clouds heading into the evening. Temperatures looking pretty comfortable out there after sunset. Futurecast does show that one little shower. This is 9 o'clock at night, trying to come in along that frontal zone, and then that front just kind of washes out as it moves southward. 8 in the morning, waking up tomorrow, does paint at least a chance of a coastal sprinkle, but uh, most of us will be dry kind of heading into our Tuesday. That's why I just have that 10% mention of a shower Monday to Tuesday. 65 tonight, 87 tomorrow, 88 Wednesday. We're back to the 90s starting Thursday. It'll be a little more humid too. In fact, the average start of our wet season at the end of the month. So we'll start to crank it back up here, especially as we head into next weekend. Let's go back to you.